don't let me drown. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia. Today, I've decided that I want to talk to you a little bit about just. Uh, my life, life update. As you can see, I'm getting more homely in my new place. Uh, Unicorn City, Pillow City, me. All in all, I moved in, ish. I'm under the home treatment team. Majority of you will know that. No, my hair's got wet while I was out. I'm under the home treatment team's care. The home treatment team come out and see me every day. They're actually due to be here very soon, actually. And basically, I get given my medication every day. Currently, they're treating me for a hypermanic episode. Um, I don't know what this means diagnosis-wise because I believe you have to be bipolar to experience hypermania and at this current moment in time, as far as my, I'm aware, I am not diagnosed with pillow disorder. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm waiting a medication review and to see a consultant. I've been referred to art psychotherapy, like suicide lost counselling and like said daily checkups and they see me daily, give me medication daily. My medication is the same as it was before, lorazepam, quetiapine, clonazepam, venlafaxine. They are my current medications. I always take zoppy clothes at night because I can't sleep very well and I know it's not good to take it all the time but I do and I have to because I can't sleep and I'd much rather sleep than be awake because my thoughts at the moment are very racy and get very busy and my emotions are very up and I keep trying to ground myself and be like that's not a rational thought, that's not a rational thought, that's not a rational thought and it's it's hard to explain, like, I'm gonna be talking to someone later about it like I'm gonna be talking to the pain treatment team about it some really 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 irrational thoughts and I'm just like, that I, I know irrational now but like at the time I'm just like ooh that's actually logical for instance last night I started thinking well, I've tried to kill myself all these times, so maybe I'm just immortal. And like, it's such a fucking irrational thought, but my th I was able to justify it to myself, and for a good hour, I, c I believed this. Today, I've been out. I didn't really do much out. Yeah. I don't know, I'm in a really weird headspace at the moment, because I've never felt this up. Like, I've never felt this up, even when I did cocaine back in the day. I never felt this up, and right now I feel like I could do anything, like, let's make a change. I'm not normally like this, so... Um, but I guess this is where we are at in my life, and I don't really have much more to add. Now, I'm currently getting treated for a hypermania, so they want to increase my clonazepam, increase my quetiapine, and potentially add a mood stabiliser, which... Hmm, I used to be on a higher dose of clonazepam. I need to sit down face to face with a consultant, so uh, that's fun. I think that's about a bit of my life, really. I've moved a few more things. I will insert the moving vlog now. Hey, got some less than it's like. Moving vlog part two. I'm gonna head over to Wembley. My goal with this room is to turn it into like a bit of a sensory den. Like I want it to be all like, like I've got my live lights and now I'm fairy lights. I want to textures in a minute. About to go. You lot were off to the underground station to go back to Wembley to get more of my YouTube set stuff so I can get back to doing filming daily stuff because I want to start uploading more and I can't because I don't have a decent setup yet. Like you guys might think it looks set up and nice and whatever but I'm not happy yet because I haven't got fairy lights. I'm vlogging on my phone while I'm out because my camera's in my bag. And yeah, just gonna go back to my flat to get my stuff. Normally I'm like, I'm just a vlog on the underground. There's no one here, so I don't care. In the bacon People think that living in London is so great. Oh, yes. to decide what I want to take with me today. So this is like moving vlog part two, really. Like, I know I'm short. I'm so short. 
I'm gonna have to put the tilting upwards so you get the unattractive angles of me. Do I please have my energy drink? I have an energy drink. These things are my life. I'm moving, I swear. Alright, today I'm taking over all like my YouTubery stuff so I can get set up and you know get back to doing videos. So chuck everything little in that bag. I think I've got about as much as I can carry. Um because you've got to remember, I'm doing a spy of the underground on my own. So it's like, how much can I realistically juggle? And the answer is not a lot. I have no idea what's in the shot and what's not, but I've got my backpack, two bags. I hope to God my Oyster card works because my purse is buried underneath stuff in the bags. I've got to carry my camera around my neck. Fun. Phone is there, keys are there. And yeah. That's about it. Let's uh, head off. So, I didn't end the video yesterday. Um, I moved more of my stuff over. I'm starting to look pretty me. I've ordered some furniture. I'm tired. It's half seven in the morning. Um, yeah, we've been for part two. Um, I want a QA. Um, oh, moving from one area of London to another, especially via the road and the underground, is the worst thing ever. Like, you could just, theoretically, you just need like a helicopter to just pick it up and then bring it down and that would work. That would be brilliant. That would be my life so much easier. But no, 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 we have. Which is moving via the underground. I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons, which are Jia, yeah, Ryan True, Izzy Watkin, Fly High Tower, and Agni, Agnias on the screen, sorry. Please send me an audio clip I'd say it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to be featured in the next end screen card thing, become Patreon. My Patreon link is in the description down below, along with all the other links to all my stuff, like my book, and my Patreon, my PayPal. Everything is down there. Even the equipment I use on my videos. How amazing. I think there's also a delivery code down there too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.